starts out, Rep Republican Representative French Hill of Arkansas. Uh, Congressman, thanks so much for joining us. We do appreciate it. You bet, Melissa. Thanks. You know, what fascinates me about your background, Congressman, is that you're the founder, chairman, and CEO of Delta Trust and Banking Corporation. So you really know um, how this tax bill could actually impact businesses and Main Street. What do you think the biggest impact is here, first, on the small business? Well, I think it's important to have uh, clear and transparent uh, rate reductions for small businesses that look like what we've done for big multinational companies. And I think the conferees have done a good job working with the National Independent Federation of Independent Businesses, et cetera, to bring those rates down and make it uh, clear. So this is a 40 percent rate reduction for entrepreneurs and small companies and for big multinationals. Do you think somehow uh, lending picks up because of a tax cut? And I'm asking this because we've seen certainly a, a huge rally in banks, whether they be big banks or smaller regional banks. Um, and part of it is, is a notion that a, a, less, a lighter touch on the regulation side of the economy is certainly helping. But that tax reform could also help. Well, I think you've got three pieces, Melissa. One, you're right. I think the regulatory right-sizing of regulations, making sure that we can get capital out to businesses but not over-regulating the financial sector is important. But also, we're now in a rising rate environment. That's good for bank stocks. That probably affects those prices as well. And as you say, we want faster economic growth after a decade of low growth, stagnant uh, productivity, and stagnant wages. And tax reform is the key for unlocking that faster growth rate. Can you educate me a little bit without, without descending into all the details <laughs> on how that small business tax cut is, uh, or the pass-through thing is going to work? Because it's, it doesn't seem as simple as just cutting the rates. It's a, what is it, a, a deduction for, of certain income? How's it going to work? Well, it does lower rates. And as you know, if you're a pass-through entity in a subchapter S or an LLC, you pay your income on the profits based on your personal tax rate. Correct. So bringing down personal tax rates is good, but it's not enough in that environment. So we've created this idea in both the House and Senate of a business income tax uh, that is set at uh, 20 percent that I think is very competitive. Uh, one of your guests earlier talked about the challenges for certain service related Businesses, and I share that view. I mean, service-related businesses uh, do uh, have capital expenditures. They do need to retain earnings, and they should get uh, the lower rate. But I think the combination of faster expensing on equipment, this lower rate for many, many of our pass-through businesses across the board, they will be better off tax-wise. You mentioned rising interest rates. Most banks would like to see the yield curve steepen so they could actually make more money on what they lend out versus what they're paying for deposits. Are right. you convinced they're going to go up? When we look at what the Federal Reserve is thinking about what this tax bill could do to GDP, it doesn't seem like much, nor does it seem like much in terms of what they expect for future interest rates. Well, I think the unwinding of this unprecedentedly large Fed balance sheet is going to have an upward pressure on rates, plus the growth in the economy we've seen this year and the growth we expect from more economic activity based on the tax bill, I think you could see a sustained uh, rising interest rate environment, not necessarily sharply, but over time, I, I do expect to see higher rates a year from today than we have uh, today, say, for the, on the 10-year. Looking beyond tax, Congressman, do you think uh, if the Republicans can put this in the win column, that this gives them yeah. uh, more impetus, more um, momentum in terms of getting infrastructure done? Right. Well, this is certainly something all Republicans campaigned on, and certainly a lot of people in Congress have worked for six years for comprehensive tax reform, the first time in 30 years. I think we will put it in the win column, and I think it is going to be able a, a sign of momentum that right-sizing regulatory uh, changes that we need across the economy, not just in financial services, doing major tax reform, and some of the other things that we're doing through the economy on increasing skilled workforce, getting people back in the workforce, all those things will help produce uh, the economic growth that we've all worked so hard for the last few months. Congressman Hill.